The U.S. Army Research Laboratory and its industry partners demonstrated the flying capabilities of a unique rectangular-shaped quadcopter during a visit by DOD officials. The Joint Tactical Aerial Resupply Vehicle, or JTARV, also known as the Hoverbike, could someday make it possible for soldiers on the battlefield to order resupply and then receive the supplies from an autonomous unmanned aerial vehicle. Dr. William Roper, director of the Strategic Capabilities Office at the Office of the Secretary of Defense, and members of his staff visited the laboratory at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, January 10th. Roper said he is concerned about adapting technology advances. That's my biggest fear, is trying to figure out how we get people to see something that's, that's coming on the shelf, immediately identify the use, determine if it's good enough for rock and roll, get it into the field, but in a way that allows us to keep one up again. With a payload capacity of up to 300 pounds, the vehicle could provide vital resupply at short distances. Army researchers envision a future JTARV flying low to the ground or at thousands of feet at speeds of 60 miles per hour or more. This project was successful because we went from a concept development to an engineering evaluation. It was done in collaboration with all various government agencies, industry, in a very short time. The JTARV is a joint effort with the Marine Corps, led by Army researchers at the Armament Research Development and Engineering Center at Picatinny, New Jersey. The demo we saw was a unique opportunity for us to show uh, a, a seamless transition between uh, one, one Army organization and another Army organization and having the industry along the whole time. The laboratory partnered with the hoverbike manufacturer, Malloy Aeronautics from the United Kingdom, and the service engineering company to accelerate the concept of autonomous resupply. I think the visit was a great success. Uh, it gave us an opportunity to showcase to Dr. Roper uh, ideas and also the progress we've been making in uh, exploiting commercial U.S. technologies. For ARL-TV, I'm David McNally.